In this video, we're going to build a basic decision net in Netica. This is meant to be the second video, building upon the first video in which we built a basic belief net. So if you haven't seen that one yet, you might want to watch that first. So basic decision net, I'm going to open a new net. Now, just like in a belief net, we're going to have nature node. But in this case, we're trying to make a decision. So we're going to add a decision node and a utility node. Now let's start with the decision node. I'm double clicking on the header. I'm naming this Beanie Baby because I'm trying to make these examples a little bit different, a little dissimilar to other classroom and textbook examples that I've seen. So you'll have to forgive me just a tiny bit of silliness with these examples. Um, so my decision is buy or do not buy this super awesome rare beanie baby. And my nature node is going to be called value and the beanie baby is either going to go up in value or it's going to go down in value. As you can see I'm just entering my states. When I want a new state I click new and I click OK. Now both of these, the decision and the nature node are going to feed into my utility node. Now a lot of times in utility node you're going to be putting in dollar amounts but since I'm investing in BB babies let's say I'm not interested in dollars I just want to know how happy this decision is going to make me. Um, oops. Let's go into our table and here are all our different combinations. Beanie Baby I can buy it or not buy it and it's either going to go up in value or it's going to go down in value. So let's see the best thing that happens is that I buy it and it goes up in value. I'm going to feel very pleased. Give me a utility for one on that. If I buy it and it goes down in value, well I'm not going to be happy about that but at least I still have my super awesome rare beanie baby. Give me a point. If I don't buy it and the beanie baby goes up in value, I'm going to regret that decision. Let's give me a point five on that. At least I didn't spend my money. I still have my money. And if I don't buy it and it goes down in value, I'm going to feel pretty smug about that. I'm going to be happy with my decision, even though I don't have the beanie baby. So let's put our utilities in there. Click OK. Now the only thing we have left to uh, enter is our prior probability if we think that Beanie Baby is going to go up in value or not. So let's go into the table here. And I, you know, I know my Beanie Babies. I've done my research. I, uh, I'm pretty sure there's about a 60% chance that it's going to go up in value and a 40% chance it's going to go down in value. Those are my prior probability um, for if the Beanie Baby is going to go up in value or not. So now I come up here, I click my Compile Net button, and as you can see, the buy decision gives me a slightly higher utility than my don't buy decision. So I should definitely buy the Beanie Baby, right? Well, let's say we can get some more information. Let's bring down this other nature node. And we're going to call this crystal ball. I'm going to look into my crystal ball and it's going to make a prediction if my Beanie Baby is going to go up in value or not. So we need to link this, the value to the crystal ball, because the crystal ball is going to be right some of the time, it's going to be wrong some of the time. So the states of my crystal ball are it's going to predict if the Beanie Baby is going to go up in value, or it's going to predict that the Beanie Baby is going to go down in value. Let's go into my table. What did I do wrong? There we go. Uh, I didn't hit apply before I went into the table. So let's say my crystal ball has about a 75% accuracy rate. So 75% 75 of the time because it's going to go up in value it actually does and 75% of the time it predicts it's going to do, go down in value it actually goes down. So we have to come up here and compile our net again. Boom. So as you can see the uh, the decision has the same values that it had before. And that's because we haven't entered any evidence into our prediction. So 
let's say the crystal ball says that the Beanie Baby is going to go up in value. Well, now I should definitely buy it because my utility is much higher. My expected utility is much higher for a buy decision. If the crystal ball says it's going to go down in value. Well, look at that. Now my decision has changed. Now my expected utility is higher for a don't buy decision based on my prediction that was made on the crystal by the crystal ball. So this information given by the crystal ball has the ability to change the decision. That makes that information valuable. So that has been a very, very basic decision net in Netica, and thank you for watching.